Hey y'all, welcome back if you're returning. Welcome if you're new. My name's Nikki. This channel is primarily about reselling on the Poshmark app. Hey guys, I'm just gonna do a thrift haul tonight. I know you guys are probably getting tired of them, but I never get tired of shopping. I did get, um, sorry guys, I'm looking at my paper. I got 124 items. It was a week-long thrift, you know, I went thrifting three times last week in, for the whole week. And then I start redoing my inventory, and my inventory kind of took over what I have. I mean, I have been listing every day in my hardline area. So I spent, I went to three thrift stores last week. I spent, okay, I spent $51 at the first thrift store. At the second thrift store, I spent $25, and at the other one, I spent $60. So, that's $136. My average cost of goods was, I'm sorry guys, I had 109 items. I apologize about that, not $124. My average cost of goods is $1.24, so that's amazing. So, I'm going to go ahead and get into the stuff that I did list, which was not very much. I listed these two shirts together. The first one is just a cotton t-shirt. It says extra small. It has the peplum bottom. It's just like this this uh, striped shirt. It's a navy blue with the outlining of a pinstripe blue and then the white. And it's just a 100% cotton t-shirt. It's a size extra small and it's by EDC. Now I picked up a lot of brands this week that I'm not familiar with, but I mean, it feels like a nice shirt. I mean, I listed it with this Banana Republic because it was just with Banana Republic Factory, but no, this was regular Banana Republic. But it's a it's a daisy yellow, and then on the inside it's lined with the uh, the leopard print. The lining is 100% silk. The outside of the Banana Republic sweater is 50% lamb's wool and 50% Algora rabbit hair. Algora rabbit hair, I believe is how you say it. So, I do have these both of these listed in my Poshmark closet together because they're both size extra small. I don't know what I... I think these were both in the back sale. Yeah, one of the thrift stores I went to had a back sale. Another thing that I picked up, I picked up... I normally don't pick up a lot of baseball caps. But I did. For one, I got this Carhartt <laughs> beanie for free. Uh, the lady that was packing my stuff up, they use trash bags when I go in because I always get a lot of stuff. And... Um, this was in the bottom of the trash bag, so she said, I guess it's yours. It's just a Detroit black Carhartt beanie. Excellent condition. I picked up this hat for me. It was half off of 99 cents. I can see that right now, and that thrift store was half off of everything. So I paid 50 cents for this, and this is just for me to rock. Yes, I sanitized it. No, I did not wash it. Yes, I'm nasty. Sorry, guys. Live with it. So... I love hats. Um, I picked up this uh, Nike. and they, All these hats were 50 cents because they were marked for 99 cents. But it's called a Nike Featherlight Dry Hip uh, Hat. I don't know what symbol that is. But it's just like this like Nike Athletic hat. It like folds up. It can fit in my pocket or your pocket. I mean, it's really cool. I don't have any pockets in this, but yeah. But this one's not actually as fe flexible as my other ones. I'm sure they're called something else, but I could not find them. But this is a Featherlight Nike. I'm listing them all for $16. And when people like it, I'm sending an offer at $12. That's the lowest I'll go on these. So, so I got this Nike uh, Fit hat. It's an athletic hat. It's another one just like that, the Featherlight hats. It doesn't. It's not as flexible as my other ones either. But it's just a charcoal gray with the, the white check. So they're really cute. I like them. They are um, expandable. Is that the word I'm looking for, guys? I don't know. Okay, so I got this one. This one's actually one that prinkles up. It's Nike. This one's one that'll fit in your pocket and go anywhere with you. My boyfriend at first was like, that's so ugly. And I was like, it's so cute. Wait till I put it on. I said, it just, it forms to your head. And actually, this is really cute. I mean, it just like the bill just bends any way you want it to bend. I'm sure I look really nice like this, but yeah, I mean, it's really cool. So I did pick up that for 50 cents also. 
I picked up another one just like it, but it's purple and it's Columbia. I also paid 50 cents for it. The only one I paid up for was this one, and I paid a dollar for it. It's just a vintage Tommy Hilfiger uh, green cap that does say Tommy, Tommy Jeans on the front of it. It is the, that label. I don't think it's vintage. I think that's actually the newer label. Not for sure though, guys. Where to start? I'm probably going to have to spread this into a couple. Okay, I'm just going to start with one. First off, guys, the only two pieces. I picked up this new with tags. It's a two piece. It's gold. And it's Bear New York. I don't even know that brand. It looks like a really nice brand. I should have looked it up. So it's just this nice, classy, satin-like uh, suit. It is new with tags. has the extra button. It's a size 8. And then it also comes with the pants. The pants are a full-length satin gold um, straight-legged trouser. Now, they are different sizes, guys. One is a size 10 and one's a size 8. The, the jacket is a size 8 and the pants are a size 10. So, would that be something I would list together, guys? I don't know. So, yeah. I got a bunch of stuff new with tags, and for my cost of kids, only be a dollar twenty-four is amazing. I also got this Lane Bryant. Um, it's a full button down with the ruffle front. It's a long sleeve. It has the red pinstripes, or is those pink? Those are pink pinstripes. It has the pink pinstripes. It is new with tags. Um, it was fifty-six ninety-five. And it is size 20. The next thing I got was, I love getting plus size. <laughs> I got this from the Goodwill when I went, and everything was half off. Or no, 49 cents. I'm sorry, everything from Goodwill is 49 cents. Um, I got this Halo. It's a size 2X. It's just this cream colored shirt. It's like it has the peach embroidery. Short sleeved. It's a high to low. New condition. Yeah. I also picked up this J. Jill shawl. It's like a crocheted shawl. That's what I call them, guys. It's one size fits most. It's going to be like an asymmetrical, because there is the head. The head comes out right here. So it's going to be like a, I think. Yeah. It's going to hang like that. It's really pretty. It's just like this blue color. It's knit. Really nice. I also picked up this um, tunic. It's a denim tunic by Miss Evil, Miss Evel, something like that. It's just like this light washed denim tunic or mini dress. It has the two pockets in the front. Super cute. There's the back of it, guys. It is a size... This is a size large. There's no stretch to it. So, I, p I picked up uh, quite a bit of pieces for my Etsy shop I'm getting ready. Well, I've already opened it. I'm just going to add some uh, listings to it. Um, I got this vintage Benson and Smith uh, acetate and rayon um, blazer. It's a size 910. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like these navy blue striped or purplish striped. Something like that. It's, like, it's deeper than this color. Because some of this is like, it's like a purplish blue. It's like an ombre kind of. And it's meant to be like that. All of it's like that. But, some ways you look at it, the only thing wrong with this blazer, it's so cute, double buttons, um, the pockets are faux, but the back is darted, like it has the things that make you look super thin, and, but the only thing is, guys, it's missing one shoulder pad, so I don't know if I'm going to, um, depending on how much it goes for, I'm going to um, either take it to the dry cleaner, have them sew me in another, uh, you know, shoulder pad, or I'm just going to disclose it and let the people fix it. 
So I also picked up this new with tags, open front, waterfallish. Um, I, I don't know how to describe this. It's a cardigan. Sorry, guys. It's like this taupe color, and the front is really long, and it's super soft. It's so soft, guys. It's so cozy. It is made by um, Mason Mascaler, designed in France. Hmm. It's a U.S. size 10. It's a deep gray drape long sleeve top. That's so... Yeah, it smells, it smells brand new. Like, it wasn't even in the thrift store. I don't know. I have a habit of smelling stuff, guys. I also picked up this Motherhood uh, floral brown knee-high skirt. It's a size medium. It's, I don't know if I said it's my Motherhood. It just has that, like, little cute little bow in the front. It's so cute. I also picked up this Hannah. It's a vintage Hannah. It's a red. Have you guys ever heard of the Purple Hat Society? I believe that's what it's called, for those elders, um, where they take a tour bus and they just go around and tour in, like, Canada, I believe. Well, I came across a bunch of the Red Hat Society clothing. I do not know if I should have picked up more, but I did pick up one or two pieces. Uh, it was kind of cool. All of it, you know, has red on it. Some of the other piece that I got has a red hat on it, embroidered on it, but it does have these ladybugs. And, I, I'm, guys, weird fact, I'm terrified of ladybugs. I'm terrified of them. I know they're for good luck, but I'm terrified. I don't like them. They can crawl on my ears and like, yeah, no thank you. Um, but it is like this pinstripe button down. It has like the embroidered ladybugs on it and the flowers over here. It's in new condition. Yeah, it is by Hannah, like I said, and it's a size large. The next thing I picked up was... Dun -dun -dun! Nothing good. <laughs> I don't know what it is about. <coughs> Excuse me. It's a socialite tunic mini dress. It has, I don't know what that neck style is called. It's like a boat neck though. It's short sleeve. It's super slinky. It's like slinky material. Kind of like rayon spandex. And it does have pockets. You know, that's so that's a plus. It's a rayon spandex, exactly right. It's a 98% rayon and 4% spandex. I knew it was. I can tell by the way it felt. It's just so slinky. But it does, like I said, have those pockets. I'm thinking about giving this to my mother-in-law. She's super short, and this is, like, would be super comfortable for her. The next thing I picked up was this new with tags, Love Tree. I wouldn't have picked it up, but it was kind of cute. And it was new with tags, and it was in it. I got, I would say, probably 10 cents in a bag, so. It just has, it just has like, this, let me. Well, it's like the the handkerchief front. It's like the lower, the asymmetrical front. Super cute. Does not say what it retails for. I'd like to know. It is a. It feels like a silk blend. Nope, one hundred percent rayon. The next thing I picked up was this plus size Elaine Bryant. It's like this slinky um, T-shirt, asymmetrical, like shark bite T-shirt. With the polka dots, it does have the opened, uh, not really a slit sleeve, but it has some uh, detail right there on both sleeves. It is a 14-16, and this feels like a rayon blend, definitely. Rayon. Rayon and spandex blend. I also picked up this. I've never heard of this, but it was an athletic shirt, and I like the logo on it. It's by... Hashtag EVCR, made in Mexico, size large. It's just like this keyhole back, crisscross key, well, help me look at it. No, just a keyhole back, which I'm not going to sell it. I'm going to keep it for me. I see a little rip in it right there. But it just says, never give up, and I just like that because I'll never give up. I'll never give up. This is something I'll never give up right here. This is this is it. This is, this is awesome. The next thing I picked up was this vintage. I'm almost sure it's complete wool. It's a 70% acrylic, 30% wool. It was made in Hong Kong. It's called a Suzelle. So you may have heard of that before. 
It's just like this hot pink fuchsia almost turtleneck sweater. It is vintage. It's in super good condition. There's no holes, which, you know, that's the acetate helps prevent the holes in them. Well, I take that back, but I'm still going to sell it because it's right there in the sleeve. There's one little hole. It's the only hole in there. So, and this is a size large. My back hurts. The next thing I picked up was this motherhood size extra large purple boat neck cinched sleeved top. It's like this lilac color. It does expand with the undrawing of the drawstring. It's in super good condition. It's in almost it's new condition really. Um, extra large. I also picked up this maternity top. It is a motherhood size extra large um, green, like the bright highlighter green top, button down. It's so nice. It's long sleeve. Sorry guys. <laughs> the next thing I picked up, and I think this was as men's. I'm not for sure, but yeah, this is men's. But it's craft plus flow. It's the only men's item I think I got. And it was actually in the women's section because I'm I don't enjoy selling men's clothes. I'm gonna be completely honest. Like I do not enjoy it. There's nothing about selling I have a vintage Dolce and Gabbana men's jacket in there that I've had for months. Months. And will not list. It was before Dolce and Gabbana became Dolce and Gabbana and it was just Gabbana. Yeah. So and I just hate listing men's items. I do. I hate it. But it's just this button now and I will list this. Because a woman, you know, I might even style it with a woman's piece. Now, I did get these hats. Um, if I can get this, if I can fix this one, I'm going to sell it. Probably probably start at 10 bucks, take seven. It's just a Columbia ball cap. It's a fitted hat. And also this Vans. I think that's something I'm going to keep this. It's one of those straight bills, and I just don't look right in a straight bill. It's like, what's up? Like, I just don't, I can't rock a straight bill like I can a curved bill. Like, I just can't do it. So... Those were the last two hats. I also picked up this awesome, I love this. Uh, I don't know who it is. I've never heard of it, but it's called Hive and Honey. It's a size medium, just the over shirt. It's three quarters length. It is like the drapey front. It does not, it's an open front. No, it's, it buttons. And it's vintage, I do believe. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm almost sure it has that lace detail in it. That is such great. It's made so good. The next thing I picked up was this Sweetly Wonderful tank top blouse. It's a hot pink. It is a size medium. It's made in Vietnam. I've never heard of this brand either. Like, I've picked up a lot of brands this week that I've never heard of. Oh, I have more hat. I have one more hat. It's a Keen hat. It's a regular Keen hat. I paid 50 cents for it. I just picked up this athletics top. Maybe it's my own bundle, you know, something with it. It's just, uh, I paid 49 cents for it. It's just a dance, dance skin now. I might even keep it. Yeah, I'm going to keep that. That's mine. These are the only pairs of shoes I picked up. I picked up these vintage for 49 cents. I picked up these vintage, which I'm going to list on Etsy, Paper Fox, Stiletto Heels. They're actually in really good condition. They have this, like, mesh detail. Well, you can't see because they're not. i, I got to shape them and stuff. But, and then they tie right there, and it has just, like, the pointy toe. And the back is covered with velvet, and then the rest is mesh. They are a size. And they're the Jacqueline um, type, and they're eight and a halfs. I always size ten. I have butt-kicking feet. And these won't ever fit me. I wish they would. I would rock these every day. Oh, I didn't show you the bag. I did pick up a couple, two bags, I believe, but I only have one. It's a travel-on bag. It's like a crossbody. Adjustable strap, quilted front. It has lots of storage, guys. Oops. It's like new. A couple storage, and it expands, and then, you know, goes in right there. More storage right here, cell phone holder, and more storage in the back. So yeah, I picked that up for, I think I paid a dollar for this. 
I also picked up these. I think they're vintage. It's called Victoria Spencer. I picked these up for 49 cents too. Goodwill was wanting 11 bucks for them before they were 49 cents. So, I mean, the bottoms are awesome. They're, they're, I mean, a little bit of wear. Not much. It has this, it has the uh, ankle straps. It's like the round toe with the bow. They're just a cream color. They're nice. I also picked up these. Uh, uh, these are vintage. I thought they were actually something totally different, which was still good. I thought they were M-I-U, M-I-U, Mew Mew, but they're Mings. Mings Originals, 1967. Made in Spain. They're size 38s. They're so freaking adorable, guys. And I don't know, you guys won't be able to see it, but right here, there's a faded, there's a faded silver, yeah. You can't really see it unless you turn it in a light some, a certain way. They are Mings. Which is good, I think. I think. I can't look it up because I'm recording on my phone. Yeah, let me leave those out a second. These are 49 cents. These were our be just BCBGs. They're a little beat up. Not much. <laughs> They're nine and a half, I believe. Let me see. They're nine. Yeah, I can't sell these. Can't sell these. Bye-bye. 49 cents down the drain. Oops. That was loud. These had to get these because they were vintage. They are pilling on the inside, which I, 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 was th I fixed uh, a pair like this before. So, but, um, and I'll tell you my secrets one day. They're a size 10. They are a uh, certain pleasures. They're just like a suede upper with a bow. Just real classy camel color slip-on. Bottoms, great condition. Gone 49 cents. I also picked up these Pumas for 49 cents. Um, I was going to see if I could actually just clean them up a little bit. I don't like how rough the sides look, but I know I can clean them up a little bit. So, I'll try. And then I just picked up these because they were super cute. I didn't pick them up for brand. They're just old navies. They are a size 9. 49 cents, and they are super cute. I like them. Wish they were nine and a half tens. Well, if they're nine and a half, so I'll squeeze my foot in there. Maybe. And then you just tie it up the ankle. So yeah, it's just like this um, olive green color. Just super cute flats. Good condition. Oh, that was the first one. Oh, I got so much more. Some of these are hanging up because I was starting to put them up, but then I ran out of hangers and or maybe I just got lazy. I don't know which one it was. So I picked up this Theory. Um, I know Theory don't sell for everybody anymore, but it's just like the super cute black Theory vest. It was only 49 cents. Open front. No, it's a it's a button down. Uh, this mystery, size large, just watercolor sheer. Could be a bathing suit cover where you could wear it over a cami. It does button down. You, I mean, you can do a lot of different things with this. It's just such a pretty... Um, pattern on it. I loved it. It kind of reminded me of, if it would have been brighter colors all the way around, it would have been a lot like Lily Pulitzer to me. I also picked up this tie-dye, uh, high to low, American Age. I've never heard of them. It's just like this tank tunic. Size extra small. It's oversized. Really good condition. I also picked up this um, for, because this is from the thrift store I paid for. I, like, I paid for all of them, but one was bag sale, one was Goodwill 49 cents, and the other one was um, half price day at my, other, at my other store. I picked up this, uh, it's like a paisley pattern, maxi skirt. It's by Lapius, I think that's an anthropology brand, or uh, Urban Outfitters brand, or something like that. It's just like this really super cute skirt, super soft. Mm. Yes, yeah, super soft. Huh. I think this was in the last haul. I don't know how that got mixed up in here. I also picked up this uh, vintage pleated cocoa knits of California um, midi skirt. It's a size eight. It's a kind of like an adjust, like it's just a pull-on skirt. 
It's so cute. It's so, you can tell, it's just good quality. I also got this for, it was $5.99, so $3. I paid $3 for this. It's just a new with tags, Earl white denim, fully buttoned skirt. It is a size 12 petite. The next thing I picked up was this uh, horny toad. I like horny toad. I forget who their new, what their new name of it is. But this brand no longer. Every time I find horny toad, I find I pick it up because they no longer make it. It's like this heather black, like almost um, mini skirt. It's a size medium. It's really good condition. Really, really good condition. Super soft. I also picked up this uh, Grace, which I've never heard of. It's a side zip or a back zip. Wait a minute. No, nope. side zip, ruffle front, like waterfall front, uh, knee high skirt. It's like a, a rayon spandex material, polyester spandex material. Super good condition. I also got this uh, plus size Lane Bryant maxi skirt. It's a size 1820. It's this beautiful skirt with side slits. It has this beautiful green and purple color. It's a, a heavier skirt. It's, it's definitely a rayon spandex. Polyester spandex. <laughs> this is a Banana Republic. Just a simple fit and flare. Um, heavy. It's a, it's a heavier skirt. I see one pull in it. So I'll probably just list that for like seven bucks, five bucks. And because it's a real banana republic, it's not the banana republic factory, but it's, it's that's the only flaw in it that I can see. Super good condition. I paid 99 cents for it. I mean, not super good condition. It has a has snag in it, but other than that, it's good condition. I also got this plus size loft, or it's not plus size, this Ann Taylor loft plaid uh, fully lined skirt. It's a size 12. It has a side zipper and then the iron hook closure. It's just like this purple and pink. It's really pretty. Good condition. Kind of feels like wooly. It's made in the Philippines. Let's see. Acrylic, polyester, and wool. Okay. This is a um, a linen and rayon com uh, combo blend. A midi skirt plus size. It's a size 2X. It is by Me Jane. It's a really pretty skirt. I also picked up this Koss. Now, I've heard somebody pick up Koss before. I've heard it on YouTube, I'm sure. Picked up these Koss black denim uh, straight-legged jeans in really good condition. They're size 27s. They are... Um, Uh, fabric. These are made in Turkey too. It's a cotton spandex blend. Yeah, they're really nice. I don't know why, but it was at the back sale and it was vintage and it was from the Quaker factory. Like I've never seen clothes made by the Quaker factory before. It's just like these like knee knocker thingies. That's what my mommy calls them. <laughs> it's just like these capri knee high things. Cotton. Things. I didn't mean to call them things, but you know. I also got this. This was actually from um, the time before last that I went because this is that thrift store. But it's called a fig and flower. It says extra large. It's a sheer, just top blouse. It's really good condition. This one came from the other day. It was color story. It's just like a mint green half button up uh, cardigan. It's very lightweight. It'd be good for spring. It's a size medium. I also picked up this Sandra Darren midi dress. It's just like this, it's not really ombre, oh, I don't know what you guys would call it, but it's, it's a nice dress for those gold embellishments. Sure. I also picked up this Lark and Row 
It's a powder pink tie vest. Um, I'm trying to see what this is made out of. Um, dress. It's super cute. Super cute. I wish this would fit me. I think this will be my last one for today, guys, but I don't know yet. I might edit that out and not say that. This is a Maggie London wrap dress with the belt. It's in super good condition, like new condition, guys. It's just this geometrical pattern. It's a size 14. Hey, guys. So before I let you go, I just want to tell you about a challenge that I'm doing with Lori Tata. Um, she's doing a thrift less list more challenge and in the month of February she's going to list 200 items. That's only around seven items a day. No problem for that. Just stay motivated Nikki. I'm telling myself. And um, there's no thrifting until you've listed 100 items and then with that, with that you're only allowed to go and purchase up to 20 items. So it's just like kind of a reward to yourself for doing such a great job. Um, I don't know if you guys know her channel name. It's Lori's Boston Found, and her name is Lori. I will leave her channel name linked down below. And also, why don't you guys go ahead and hit that subscribe button and like, you know, and comment. The algorithm in YouTube loves for you guys to comment. So just comment what you guys want me, what kind of video you want me to do next, okay? Or maybe tell me what I'm doing wrong or what I could do better. Constructive cr criticism, you know, makes the world go round. But I got to do something, guys. I'm thrifting way too much. I mean, even though I'm not spending a lot of money, I'm, it's wasteful. It's wasteful. And honestly, I mean, if I just keep thrifting, it's, it's, like, a, it's like a circle. If I keep thrifting, my business is never, never going to take off where I want it to go, you know? Like, this is my ultimate dream. So I got to put these, I got to put, you know, fire under my ass or heed to my heels or whatever, however y'all want to say it, but, you know, it's, it's, it's crazy. I just got, I got to quit thrifting so much. You know, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, but expecting a different result. So, I'm going to try to tell myself that every time I go try to go to the thrift store, you know, you're going to make yourself insane. Like I'm already there. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys have a very profitable week. I hope that all y'all have safe travels and just enjoy it. Bye, y'all. Have a great day.